again and welcome. In today's video I'm going to be turning this piece of cherry, uh, which is a bit of an odd shape, but should yield me a blank um, of around three and a half inches in diameter and about five inches long. And what I intend to do is either a lidded vessel or a lidded box, we'll see what shape transpires. Okay, without further ado, let's get turning this lidded box come vessel. We're going to be using the uh, Simon Hope Crown Cryo Inch and a Porter Spindle Roughing Gouge and we'll be turning at about 1300 RPM I should think. Yeah, nearly 1400 RPM just to get it round. Okay, I've got the speed off up to just about 2000 RPM now. I'm using the Simon Hope half inch spindle gouge with a 40 degree bevel. Now I can see what I'm faced with, with the cracking, so I shall fill them and with the midi foot and then uh, carry on with the turning and all should be good. So the midi foot is now cured and I'll turn the lid, finish the inside of the lid and um, I'm going to go for a tenon on the lid and a mortise in the body. So
So that's the inside of the lid finished and now we'll sort the body out and then attach them and do the final shaping and sanding and finishing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of my finials that I have in stock and that's going to fit in there. Um, I've got a bit loose on the lid actually, but never mind, that doesn't matter. At least you're going to have to hold on to the piece when you take the lid off. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just um, sand up the outside, sand the inside, put a finish on it, part it off and we'll be done. That's the inside of the box finished, sanded to 240, Hampshire Sheen pre-thinned sanding sealer, true grit and Hampshire Sheen high gloss. Doesn't show the uh, shine in there very much but uh, because of the camera angles that's why I've got the overhead on as well but believe me it's a nice finish. Okay so we'll get on with the outside, part him off, pop on the finial and the job will be done. And there's the box finished, apart from the finial and parting off. It's a lovely figure and the grain lines up nicely for the most part. And the mini put did a good job. A little dab of CA in the ring, get the finial. No overrun, and that's that. Well, here's the finished piece. Uh, it stands at seven inches at the top of the finial by about three and three quarter inches in diameter. Uh, not a tight fitting lid, but a nice um, firm fitting lid. And the grain lines up quite nicely too. And sanded, everything sanded to 240. And then Hampshire Sheen pre thin sanding sealer. True grit and then Hampshire Sheen to finish. 
Well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.